All right, welcome back, everybody. We're going to add our six-hour time lapse here. We did have some clouds coming through this morning, very slowly pushing from west to east. But behind those clouds, we've been having a cold front slowly making its way closer to our area. Actually, a little bit warmer right now. It's 72 degrees in San Angelo. We have winds that are starting to shift now from the northwest at about 18 miles an hour so that cold front has pushed through and now we're going to start seeing those temperatures decrease as we go through our afternoon hours got a lot of 70s here so we are going to be a little bit warmer than initially anticipated as we go through our wednesday here and looking around the rest of the state we do have like i said that cold front is just right there kind of pushing through midland and wichita falls and that's going to continue to make its way through about two o'clock this afternoon and that's when we're going to start decreasing our temperatures for the rest of our day and looking at our drought monitor for the state here you'll notice that we have plenty of this uh, dry area and condition just in western Texas and heading into New Mexico and the way that's going to impact us is with those stronger winds coming especially from the northwest we are going to have a good chance of some dust making its way into our area as we continue getting through the rest of our afternoon and later this evening. So just have a steady stream of clouds that are continuing to push its way through. Right behind it, we do have a dry line there, so that's going to continue to push further south, but it's going at a very slow pace. Most of the heavier clouds are staying to the north, and the kind of upper level clouds and then lower level clouds continue to make their way across. So we will have a bit of an interesting day as we go through today. We are expecting to have those clear out as we get into the later afternoon into the evening hours. Sunset expected at 5.44 tonight. And those winds will continue coming and shifting from the north up to 20 miles per hour. So it'll be a bit of a breezy evening. Though, unfortunately, highs have already busted for me. So we're going to be in the low to mid-70s as we go through our day. But as I said, that moisture is going to continue to be pushed out of the area. So we're going to have plenty of dry conditions as we go through the rest of today into tomorrow and in the first half of Christmas. Tonight we are expecting to drop to 26 degrees for a low. We'll have clear skies coming through and then tomorrow not going to be quite as warm. We're expecting a high of 57 degrees for New Year's Eve. We will have plenty of sunshine, so overall not too bad, but wind's still a bit breezy from the west, up to 20 miles per hour. So again, with the stronger winds coming through, that could push in some dust into our area. As we continue through today into tomorrow, we will have plenty of sunshine heading into tomorrow. And then as we go through the rest of our Thursday into Friday, we are going to start to see more cloud cover coming through. It's going to be a little bit lower in level. So it's not going to get quite picked up by satellite radar, but we can expect those clouds to continue. Now, this cooler temperatures will push through as we get through tomorrow. And then as we head into the Christmas day, we're going to start to see some warmer temperatures coming through with the jet stream pushing all the way up into the northern part of the U.S. Breaking down the rest of our seven-day forecast here, we will have temperatures in the 70s once again this upcoming weekend and then heading into next week, Tuesday. 68 degrees for a high. We'll have cloudy skies, but it's our best shot of having scattered rain showers across the region. You're watching KLST News at noon. We'll be right back after the break.